Bogart Ripley with Harlow out here at 3699 Ranch. It's Monday morning early, June the 7th. Expecting rain. There's just these little spots of uh, scattered thunderstorms. That they have like the weather guy has rain every day of the week on the thing, you know. It's all 50% though, so been dry here. Enough to where I surfaced so those it didn't rain for two weeks practically and it looks like I'm growing thistles in my row of surface sowed zenas. That's possibly one. Um, maybe they'll come in real thin. Um, I had some extra marigold seed from the garden and I threw it in there and I don't even see it germinating so be out here digging the garlic out uh, mowed I'd like to mow uh, Tuesday and Thursday mow my lawn twice a week and then um, because of the rain last week I mowed Tuesday and then Friday and then I had to come back again Saturday and mow I'm just growing that like that crazy these are done had a good year drug the drying rack out of the barn some of the onions that bolted and went to seed, yanked them. And then I had some that were in the road that had to come out. I'm out here snacking on some onions. Trim these guys back real, give them a hard trim. Uh, this guy here, he's kind of halfway doing good. I'll be tying it up for the third time. The wisteria dried up. That bloomed the last time. Still fragrant though. Have a look at the garden. Um, it looks kind of the same, but then I did take out the uh, plastic stuff. Moved a couple plants around. I have some fertilizer burn. Drug the water hose out here last night, um, but hadn't watered in 10 days. Which I, I wanted to keep the trees watered. Um, these are some marigolds. I thought I would have marigolds clear across the front and then ended up with more onions than I thought I would have. And uh, so then I had some seed left over and I threw it out there on the side of the hay and um, I don't even see it coming up yet. So the peppers look a lot better without the plastic around them. And I found a couple cherry bombs. I moved them over here, kind of in between, and a Florida weed will go in there. So I have some weedy onions in here from sets, the 100 bare root, Austrians, and I fabricated some a uh, bunch of uh, supports for them. On this end here, I got heavy with the fertilizer, and I, I, I killed at least one. The, the color uh, isn't the greatest. It's, it's faint. I like to have it deeper green, and then I think it's that mulch. The soils, I want a, a hotter soil, and I think the, the mulch is keeping the soil cool. I'm just thinking that. I, I'm just guessing. And so I'm not putting any more mulch on there, even though I have a couple bags stacked up and it looks really nice. Got in there, did a meadow full weeding. Got all kind of weeds out of here, piles of weeds. And here's what the support looks like. It's a 12 and a half gauge wire. I just spent the wire. The wire cost me $20 for 10, uh, 10 pound coil and sit there my hands are sore and pounding them out by hand I, I could have used a vise for that or something there's some more marigolds over here the cayenne pepper bell pepper and hopefully a couple of cherry bomb peppers the, the pineapples um should have already yanked that one probably should have yanked this pine tree too the deer yanked it for me and i brought it up here kind of weeded around the carrots uh, a smidge and then 
you pull them out and they're, they're like little Brussels sprout looking things. There's two pickle plants here, but I saw there's asparagus I planted over there. Every one of them made it. I bought them just for fun. So that's what the carrots are. Carrots are harder to grow than they than you would think. Probably like anything else. Um, this asparagus though looked like Mission Impossible. That's kind of why I bought it. And then I brought it home and they said it takes two years, but the asparagus actually made it. I mean, there's nothing there. So there's a warplane in B-17. Columbus probably. You think they're that Rickenbacker type of thing they have down there? A couple airfields in Columbus. Yeah, he took off out of it's it's still 7:30 in the morning here. But um yeah, I got this too. Check them out. They're over here in this ornamental corn. Maybe I should pull the ornamental corn. I think I might. Because I have plenty of it. It's just Indian corn. It doesn't pop worth a damn. Candy glass gem, and it's more just or I call it ornamental. It's supposed to be popcorn, but it didn't work for me. Uh, giant sunflowers, kind of gnarly looking over here. Yeah, it got a little heavy with uh, fertilizer. I should have side dressed it, I was just throwing it right on the, the plants. Um, a squirrel or I had one rabbit and then I looked out here and now I have baby rabbits now. So we have babies and they are snacking. They snacked on the, trimmed that guy back. And, and this is my real popcorn. But very little, oh wow, the, I'm hoping this is the Mexican one because I don't know what they look like. I think I pulled one thinking it was a weed. Mexican sunflower. I think I only have like one or two in there. So yeah, and they trimmed back. I had 100% drum on the sweet corn. It was treated. But the candy gem ornamental corn, I just saved the seed myself. And then, um, have they been trimming on, they've been eating on that guy last night. I moved, these are uh, Turk's turbans. I had those three Rutgers, Rutgers tomatoes that the rabbits ate off and I protected them. I went over and I bought these two two dollar plants which the rabbits come back over and trim them. I pulled the plastic off. I left them where they were at, yanked all the onions and grass out of here and left those two onions and there's three of those ruckers that came back from a stem with like no leaf at all and then I, I moved this Turk's turban from the corner over to here and then thinking I'll start yanking these onions out um, and that those will take over everything and maybe clean up this corner with the, the fence um, I think I'm done with it and my utensils and then uh, give it a good trimming with the string trimmer out here and um, clean clean up around the garden and um, make it look pretty. These guys are busy. This one likes to sit up on that nightlight. Kind of a big mean looking one. There's my nightlight and he's up on top right there. He's kind of like the guard dog of them. How you doing today, buddy? He's just cleaning himself. You know, I've got water in the bird bath today, but yeah, these uh, apple trees just are really surprised me how well they're doing. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. I, I should have known better. Thanks for watching everyone. Bogart Rippy over here. Small vegetable garden. First week in June.